In this video, we're going to be talking about relational operators. And something that we've already looked at is the greater than sign. This is a relational operator, and likewise is the less than sign. So um, these are really important in if statements uh, for the test condition. So we're going to talk about four other ones. Uh, the reason we have talked about these ones without explanation is because they're just the same in math. Um, but in C++ now, if we want to have greater than or equal to, for example, we would have this operator. Oops where we have the greater than sign and then the equal sign. And this kind of makes sense um, because if the way you would read this, you would say greater than, equal, and this is the greater than or equal to sign operator. So similarly, the less than or equal to, we would write like this. Um, kind of makes sense. Again, if you're reading it, you'd see less than, equal to. Okay, perfect. Um, now, also what we want is, we want, if we want to be able to test that something is equal to something else, we can't just use one equal sign because that's just our assignment operator and that doesn't actually test anything that just puts things in variables so what we do is we put another one right back to back and if you see this double equal sign that's a test uh, that's a relational operator to test you know if something is equal to something else and we'll do an example up here in one second so you can kind of see some of these and the last one that we're going to talk about is to test if something is not equal to so simple enough we just put an exclamation mark and an equal sign um, and this here tests if something is not equal to something else. All right, so let's make a variable. Let's call this uh, whatever. Let's just call it make an integer um, and call it num. Okay, so we're going to say, uh, actually, let's initialize it. Integer num is equal to 4. Sure, why not? So let's make an if statement and say if, if num is uh, let's do let's do one of each say is greater than or equal to let's say five um, okay let's close that off then we'll say see out maybe huh if this is greater than five we know this is not gonna be greater than five so let's say let's whatever say I guess say true <clears throat> all right and then we'd say else um, we don't really need the braces because it's only one line. We'll say C out um, false. All right, so we're going to run and we're going to test this and see what happens. So when we go, uh, we're going to build on this and pile and in two seconds, we're going to run this program. All right, so it says false here. Actually, we probably should have ended the line, but you guys know that that here, we can just um, backslash in and backslash and so now we're always going to be ending that line all right so let's say maybe we want to test uh, we want to see if this is equal to let's say four is four if number is equal to four then we would hopefully see out true someone's honking their car outside my house all right so here now it's saying true all right so anyways i don't really need to run through all of these um basically here's the list of them Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal and not equal. Um, now that you guys have seen these, I will just use them freely uh, in any sort of if statement and stuff like that. And you will hopefully know what I'm talking about. All right, see you in the next video and we'll talk about nested um, if statements.